Biography Tan Sri Dato Seri Michelle Yo Chukang born August 6, 1962, better known by the stage name Michelle Yo, is a Malaysian actress who rose to fame with frequent roles in 1990s Hong Kong action films and is best known internationally for her roles in the 1997 James Bond film Tomorrow Never Dies and the Chinese language martial arts film Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, 2000. Born in Ipoh, Malaysia, she won the Miss Malaysia pageant of 1983 at the age of 20. She later achieved fame in the early 1990s after starring in a series of Hong Kong action films in which she performed her own stunts, such as Yes, Madam, 1985, Police Story 3, Super Cop, 1992, and Holy Weapon, 1993. She was credited as Michelle Kahn in her early Hollywood films. She was nominated for the BAFTA Award for Best Actress for her work in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, she has appeared in many English, Mandarin and Cantonese language films. Her other works include Memoirs of a Geisha, 2005, Reign of Assassins, 2010, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Sword of Destiny, 2016, Star Trek, Discovery, 2017, and The Lady, 2011, in which she portrayed Aung San Suu Kyi. In 2018, she starred in the American romantic comedy drama film, Crazy Rich Asians. She has also recently acted in Master Z, The Ip Man Legacy The film critic website Rotten Tomatoes ranked her the greatest action heroine of all time in 2008. In 1997, she was chosen by People as one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world, and in 2009 the same magazine listed her as one of the 35 all-time screen beauties, the only Asian actress to make the list. Early life in Edu and she was born in Ipoh, Malaysia to a local Malaysian Chinese family of mixed Hokkien and Cantonese descent. Her parents are Janet Yeo and Yeo Kian Teek, a lawyer and MCA politician, she was keen on dance from an early age, beginning ballet at the age of four. At the age of 15, she moved with her parents to the United Kingdom, where she was enrolled in a boarding school. Yeo later studied at the Royal Academy of Dance in London, majoring in ballet. However, a spinal injury prevented her from becoming a professional ballet dancer, and she transferred her attention to choreography and other arts. She later received a BA degree in creative arts with a minor in drama. Career in 1983, at the age of 20, Yo won the Miss Malaysia Beauty Pageant. She represented Malaysia at the Queen of the Pacific 1983 Beauty Pageant, which was held in Australia, and won the crown. While in Melbourne, she also won the Miss Moomba title. She was also Malaysia's representative at the Miss World 1983 pageant in London. From there, she appeared in a television commercial with Jackie Chan which caught the attention of a fledgling Hong Kong film production company, DNB Films, Yeo started her film career acting in action and martial arts films such as Yes, Madam in 1985, after which she did most of her own stunts. She was credited as Michelle Kahn in these earlier films. This alias was chosen by DNB Studio who thought it might be more marketable to international and western audiences. Yo later preferred using her real name the DNB group in Hong Kong was run by the businessman Dixon Poon. Yo married Poon in 1987 and retired from acting in 1992, Yo and Dixon Poon divorced and Yo returned to acting. Yo's performance in Police Story 3, Super Cop, 1992, marked her comeback to film. She acted in the heroic trio in 1993, and the Yuan Wuping films Tai Chi Master and Wing Chun in 1994. She played Wai Lin in the James Bond film Tomorrow Never Dies, 1997. Brosnan was impressed, describing her as a wonderful actress who was serious and committed about her work. He referred to her as a female James Bond in reference to her combat abilities. She wanted to perform her own stunts but was prevented because director Roger Spottiswood considered it too dangerous. Nevertheless, she performed all of her own fighting scenes, Yo was then recruited by Ang Lee to star as Yu Shu Lin in the Chinese-language martial arts film Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. The film was shot in various provinces around China. Yo had grown up speaking English and Malay, before learning Cantonese. She spoke little Mandarin, and learned the Mandarin lines for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon phonetically. The film was an international success, and earned Yo a BAFTA 2000 nomination for Best Actress in a Leading Role, thereafter, she was offered the role of Seraph in the two sequels to The Matrix, but she could not accept due to a scheduling conflict, The Matrix writers then changed Seraph into a male character and cast Colin Cho in the role. 
In 2002, she produced her first English film, The Touch, through her own production company, Mythical Films. That in 2005, Yo starred as the graceful Mamiha in the film adaptation of Memoirs of a Geisha, and she continued her English language work in 2007 with Sunshine. In 2008, Michelle Yeoh also starred in fantasy action film The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor with Brendan Fraser and Jet Li. In October 2011, she was chosen by Gerland to be its skincare ambassador. Yo will play a role in strengthening the French cosmetics company's relationship with Asia. Apart from action films, she is famous for playing nationalists in two biopics. In 1997, she played Sung Ai Ling in the award-winning The Sung Sisters. In 2011, she portrayed Aung San Suu Kyi in Luke Besson's The Lady. Yo was blacklisted by the Burmese government allegedly because of her participation in The Lady, she was refused entry to Myanmar on June 22, 2011 and was deported on the same day Yo has also recently branched out into television, as it was announced in September 2014 that she had accepted her first television role on the fifth and final season of Strike Back. Yo plays the role of Mae Foster, wife to the British ambassador to Thailand, and who is secretly a North Korean spy named Lee Na. In 2016, Yo was cast as Federation Captain Philippa Giorgio of the starship USS Shenzhou in the series Star Trek, Discovery, and recurs as Giorgio's mirror doppelganger in the second season. In 2018, she played family matriarch Eleanor Young in John M. Choose Crazy Rich Asians, a film adaptation of Kevin Kwan's book of the same name, opposite Constance Wu and Henry Golding. Personal Life Yo was married to Hong Kong entrepreneur Dixon Poon, owner of businesses such as Harvey Nichols and Charles Jordan, from 1988 to 1992. In 1998, Yo was engaged to Dr. Alan Heldman, an American cardiologist. In 2004, she started dating Jean Tote, a leading figure in motor racing, and in July 2008 she confirmed her engagement to him during an interview with Craig Ferguson on CBS's The Late Late Show. As of 2015, Yo's relationship with Tote was ongoing, Yo is a Buddhist. In March 2008, she visited Vietnam to film a documentary for the Asian Injury Prevention Foundation, AIPF. Yo is also a patron of the Save China's Tigers project committed to protect the endangered South China Tiger Awards, Honors and Styles in 1999, she was a member of the jury at the 49th Berlin International Film Festival. On April 19, 2001, Yo was awarded the Darja Dadak Paduka Makota Perak, DPMP, which carries the title Dato, by Sultan Aslan Shah. The Sultan of Perak, her home state, in recognition of the fame she brought to the state. On November 25, 2002, she was honored as the Outstanding Young People of the World, TOYP, Cultural Achievement, by JCI, Junior Chamber International. On April 23, 2007, French President Jacques Chirac awarded Yo as Knight of the Legion of Honor, Chevalier de la Legion d'Honneur. The decoration was presented to her in a ceremony in Kuala Lumpur on October 3, 2007. She was promoted to officer of the same French order, Officier de la Legion d'Honneur, by French President Nicolas Sarkozy on March 14, 2012. The decoration was presented to her at a ceremony held at the President's official residence, the Elysee Palace on that day that in 2011, she received a special award for her contribution to Malaysian cinema at Malaysian Film Festival, FFM 24. On May 22, 2012, she was awarded the Darja Seri Paduka Makota Perak, SPMP which carries the title Dato Seri during the investiture ceremony in conjunction with the Sultan of Perak Sultan Aslan Shah's birthday, Michelle Yeoh received the Excellence in Asian Cinema Award during the 7th Annual Asian Film Awards on March 2013 in Hong Kong. On June 1, 2013, she was awarded the Panglima Sisha Makota, PSM, which carries the title Tan Sri during the investiture ceremony in conjunction with the birthday of Yang Deeper Tuan Agon Tuanku Abdul Halim Muadzam Shah. On November 30, 2013, she presided as the chief guest at the International Film Festival of India Honours of Malaysia Malaysia, Order of Loyalty to the Crown of Malaysia, PSM.SVG Commander of the Order of Loyalty to the Crown of Malaysia, PSM, Tan Sri, 2013, Perak MY Para Order of the Perak State Crown, Lower Classes. SVG Knight Commander of the Order of the Perak State Crown, DPMP, Dato, 2001, MY Para Order of the Perak State Crown, KNGRD Commander, SPMP. SVG Knight Grand Commander of the Order of the Perak State Crown, SPMP, Dato, Seri, 
2012, International Honors France, Legion Honneur Chevalier Ribbon. SVG Knight of the National Order of the Legion of Honor, 2007, Legion. Honor Officier Ribbon. SVG Officer of the National Order of the Legion of Honor, 2012, Legion Honor Commander Ribbon. SVG Commander of the National Order of the Legion of Honor, 2017, Order de Arts et de Lettres Officier Ribbon. SVG Officier of the National Order de Arts et de Lettres, 2016. Nickname Michelle Gender Female Age 61 Years Old, in 2024, Date of Birth August 6, 1962 Full Name Michelle Yo Chukeng Profession Actress Nationality Malaysian Birthplace Ipo, Malaysia Religion Buddhism Zodiac Sign Leo Michelle Yo Education School, Royal Academy of Dance College, Royal Academy of Arts Michelle Yo Career Profession, Actress Debut, Film Debut, Butterfly and Sword, 1993, Net Worth, 40 million US dollars 2024 Family and Relatives Father, Yo Key Antique Mother, Janet Yo Brother, Robert Yo Lam Ho. Yo Sister, Rachel Yo Marital Status, Married Husband, Dixon Poon, M, 1988 to 1992, FAQS Who is Michelle Yo, Michelle Yo is a Malaysian actress, born on August 6, 1962 in Ipoh, Malaysia, How Old is Michelle Yo, Michelle Yo is 61 years old as of January 2024. How tall is Michelle Yo? Michelle Yeoh is 5 feet 4 inches, 1.63 meters. Michelle Yeoh and her husband were engaged a month after they met. Now they've just married Michelle Yeoh is a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood. For 40 years, the crazy rich Asians and everything everywhere all at once actor fought to be recognized in her industry, calling it both an amazing journey and incredible fight, that it wasn't until she reached the age of 60 that she said she finally felt seen by her peers, after winning her first Golden Globe. In the same year she then became the first Asian woman to win any individual-led film category in the Screen Actors Guild Awards, and the first Asian second woman of color to win an Oscar for Best Actress and by her side at every awards event was her longtime partner, Jean Tote, who described Yo as pure grace and immense happiness Yo first got into acting in her early 20s, learning to speak Cantonese so that she could make a career in the Hong Kong film industry. Prior to acting, she had been involved in pageantry, where she won the Miss Malaysia World Contest. Going from pageantry to starring in action and martial arts films was quite jump, but she made it happen, often doing her own stunts during the movies. Point one of her first major roles in Hollywood was in the hit Bond film Tomorrow Never Dies in 1997. She played Wai Lin opposite star, Pierce Brosnan. But after the Bond film, Yo later told people that she struggled to garner any new rules that weren't cutesy or stereotypical. The industry also was quite ignorant about her ethnicity and background. At that point, people in the industry couldn't really tell the difference between whether I was Chinese or Japanese or Korean or if I even spoke English. They would talk very loudly and very slowly. I didn't work for almost two years, until Crouching Tiger, simply because I could not agree with the stereotypical roles that were put forward to me, she explained. When famed director Ang Lee's Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon film in 2000 came about, it was an international success. And it earned Yo a BAFTA nomination for Best Actress in a Leading Role. It was during this time in the early 2000s that Yo met Jean Tote, Tote is best known for being the former CEO of Ferrari, and he was a French motor racing executive and former rally co-driver before retiring for Yo, she had previously been married to a Hong Kong entrepreneur but cited her inability to have children as the reason for their divorce. In Asian families, people want to have sons and daughters, because, they are an extension and a legacy, she said to Bustle. And when you have the realization, that you can't have kids, you have to deal with it. You deal with the curveballs that are thrown at you. In July 2004, Tote and Yo became engaged, Yo becoming a stepmother to Tote's only son from a previous relationship. And 6,992 days later to be exact, the pair wed on July 27th. 2023 when asked previously about why the pair weren't planning to marry, Yo told The Guardian in 2021, we've been threatening to get married for such a long time. Sometimes we say, wait, didn't we already do it? So after 19 years, the pair decided to make things official, Ferrari Formula 1 driver Felipe Massa shared photos from the wedding on Instagram, saying, happy marriage hashtag Jean Tot and hashtag Michelio love you so much. Their wedding was in Geneva, Switzerland, where the couple resides, and Yo's Oscar for winning Best Actress was also present at the ceremony too. Recently, Tote recounted how he first met Yo, saying he learned how to text so that he could keep in contact with her following their chance encounter at a Ferrari event. 
I don't use a computer. I don't know how to, he told the Daily Mail. So, I spoke to, former Ferrari F1 driver, Michael Schumacher. We were together. He said, send an SMS. I said I don't know how to send one. So, he was the one who taught me. From the mid-2000s to more recent years, Yo's career fluctuated, she starred in some films such as The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor with Brendan Fraser and Jet Li. And she also portrayed Aung San Suu Kyi in The Lady, then from 2018 onwards, a resurgence occurred, marked by Crazy Rich Asians, Last Christmas, Shang-Chi, and The Legend of the Ten Rings, and Everything Everywhere all at once.